I'm Avery. I'm coming to you live from CES here in Las Vegas. I have a very special guest here. Hi, my name is Melissa Hirsch, and I'm the editor of Innovation and Tech Today magazine. We cover a number of different topics at the magazine, um, everything from sustainability to the Internet of Things, smart home, security, the latest medical tech, the latest in wearables, tablets, smartphones, pretty much you name it. Um, a lot of work in the tech field. Uh, it's really important uh, because tech is just becoming a part of our lives and basically everything that we do. So we like reporting on every aspect of that. So you have a pretty important job, right? Do you have any other maybe little parts that you do in your magazine? Oh yeah, there's lots of little parts. I, also, I get to do a lot of writing actually and then a lot of photography as well. Um, so yeah, lots of little detail-oriented things, things like trying to catch grammar mistakes, misspellings, uh, writing photo captions, basically anything that needs to be done to get the magazine off to print in one piece. <laughs> So why are you here at CES? Or CES is a really big event for us. Um, we like covering the big companies that are out there and what kind of the latest things are that they're doing, but then also trying to figure out what's going on with uh, smaller companies and maybe where the latest tech is coming from and what the trends are, um, what consumers are interested in, what companies are interested in developing. And uh, another big part of what we do is we actually talk quite a bit about STEM. And um, being a former Girl Scout myself, uh, when I saw your booth here, I thought, oh, I have to come by and see what the Girl Scouts are up to with STEM. So you mentioned you were a Girl Scout. Um, what was your favorite part of being a Girl Scout? My favorite part of being the Girl Scout, uh, there were a few things. I love just hanging out with my friends in Girl Scouts. That was probably one of my favorite things. And then doing the different activities. One thing that I remember specifically, um, our troop actually did a big gingerbread party um, around the holidays one year. And it's something that my family now does. When I was home for Christmas a few weeks ago, we did that exact same gingerbread uh, house activity. So just those kinds of traditions that last you your whole life. So sounds really cool. So do you, would you say maybe Girl Scouts helped you with the career that you have today? Yeah, I absolutely would. And it's funny because at the time, I might not have thought that, but looking back now and um, just speaking with Anna about like selling Girl Scout cookies and the kind of skills that that teaches you, it, you are laying the foundation to kind of do whatever you want later in life. So what do you think maybe you would encourage other people my age to get into what you do as a reporter and writer? Yeah, I would. Um, you should absolutely like follow what you love and do what you want to do. And as it ends up, a lot of that happens to be in tech now because tech is just sort of everywhere. So the more you can learn about that and know about that, the better off you're going to be. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much.